Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Tigers are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Baton Rouge is the capital of Louisiana, but it can also be called the capital of college football on many fall nights. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Brought down at the 18-yard line. Lewis is the guy we've seen, Kirk, when he plays on the road. He's almost like uh, he wants to quiet the crowd and say, you know what, bring it, and I'll bring it right back to you. Yeah, I think one of the things you have to do as a quarterback when you go on the road and you get in this kind of tough environment is, is get off to a fast start. And he told us this week one of the big things that he's trying to emphasize to his team is that it's not just to go out and win on the road. Let's take the crowd out of the game early by making some big plays, and then let's just go out and play our game. Another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. Tackle at the 22. And he is drilled at the 15-yard line. This young guy might be feared by more quarterbacks than anyone in the country. That's probably because he's the best at what he does in the whole country. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Brought down at the 43. With the tackle. There's a loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. Brewer is in at quarterback. Second down at 16 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. Brennan is in at quarterback. Wide open and he just drops it. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. It's away and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. LSU's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. He gets rid of this one. Oh, 
They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. First down pass to his tailback. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Wow, that was close. That makes it first I think the ten. officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. From their own 32-yard line, second down. He's taken down at about the 31. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. He's in trouble. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Harris maintained the receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. First down, 10 to go. Ball on 34. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That makes it second and two. Makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line. That's good enough for another LSU. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Gets to about the 8-yard line. He makes it out to about the five-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Check it. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Solo out there. Check the outs out there. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Ready. Three, three, three. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And they make the stop right around the 10-yard line. And the screen pass goes nowhere. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. LSU is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he got it. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Crimson Tides were ranked number two, and after that performance, everyone knows why. And for Alabama, they continue their winning ways. Alabama wins it 30-6 to six in another game. Let's check in on the SEC where speed reigns. The Rebels hammer that running game and score a touchdown. Tackling is optional. Nobody can get a hand on the offense. High scoring game and all tied up. All right, Reese, back to our game. The LSU Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 26. Lewis only gets about a yard there on the quarterback scramble. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Tackle made at the 24. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Makes his way out to about the 35. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. LSU is up a field goal. That goal after a decent pickup. It's second and seven. Ball on the 39. Bring him down at the 39. That'll bring up third and six. Parrish is in at quarterback. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle around the 49 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49. Nice run to the left there. the right side he's at the 30 he's pushed out of bounds right around the 22 yard line you know that saying get your keys out because we're on a drive this offense right now is on a drive i mean this is their third first down they're doing just about anything they want and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down from the 22 yard line it's first down He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on his way. That makes it second and four. And this play is number eight on the drive. LSU has a three-point lead. Black five, black Brought down around the 15-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. 
Third down again. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. It's up, and they tack on three points. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's check in on the SEC. The Rebels take it by three. All right, Reese, 6 nothing in this one. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Nice run to the outside. That's a game of six and four. That'll make it second and four. And he shoved out of bounds around the 36-yard line. That's around five yards gained there on the play for the tailback. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chains. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Bergeron was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Now he's flushed and they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Tigers in front by six. Third and long now after the sack. They'll make the sack. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle at the 46-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU, up six. Set, Oklahoma! Nice run, and he's brought down. Call a game of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That makes it third and three. Parrish is in the quarterback. Three down, three down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike. Ready. 180. Why? Watch the motion. Watch the motion. Three, 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 three. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 37-yard line. He passes it. Caught. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. And 
they push him out at the two. No gain on the play. That brings up second. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the two yard line. Black five, black six. Touchdown, Tigers! to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and a goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he converts the extra point. So that's a six-play, 54-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 13-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Gets to about the 17-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he is drilled at the 20. Nice catch on that one. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Watch one, watch one. Hey, check right, check right, right six, right six. Yeah. And he's leveled at the 23 yard line. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. From their own 23 yard line. Second down. Mike eight. Mike eight. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And down he goes at the 31. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He makes it to the 45-yard line. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. him hard at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line. First down. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. He's under pressure, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And 
and he adds the extra point. A five-play, 54-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's tackling at the 19. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 14-yard line. Caught, open field. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. Burns makes the tackle at the 20-yard line. Let's pick it up. That'll make it third and nine. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Hey, hey, hold the hold the Three, three, three. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Excellent punt. Gets to about the 41-yard line. LSU's right now in the driver's seat, it looks like, after that slow start. Well, I've been impressed with the way these guys have been able to come out, hitting on all cylinders these last few series. We'll see if they can maintain that, because it looks like it's going to be a long football game, and they're going to need more points. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Stop behind the line. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 38. And he's tackled at the 44. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. Home of the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Not only did that kick prevent a return, but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him. That's a super effort. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Very good tackle in space. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. That makes it second and two. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. Gain of three yards. First down. Time right, time right. Three down, three down. My game, my game. He'll get the call again. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Makes it to the 24. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. My game, my game. Check, check, three. Check three, check three, check three. As a man, he'll lose big yards. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. It's 
Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. Slings it. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. They're going to have to make some changes in a hurry, or else this game will be over by halftime. From the 48-yard line, first down. The Raging Cajuns running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. He's got it with room to run. Good tackle there in space. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. That makes it second and two. Chase picks up about three with that catch. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump ball pass worked to perfection. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Throws a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 12. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. Catches it, and that's all. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. You hate to say that a game is over so early, but unless they make some incredible changes and fast, I just don't see how they can come back from this. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Gamecocks entered the game ranked in the top five in the nation. The teams ranked just behind them, starting to apply the heat. Can they hold their spot at number five? We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. South Carolina on top, 7-0. It's 27-0 here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Ragin' Cajuns have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half, because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively, as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's, this is their week to take some of the pressure off them. Maybe the receivers, the offensive of line when your star isn't playing up to his abilities he has a tendency to press somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. it out and it falls incomplete you know sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete throwing right tackle around the 42 yard line and that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. He's in trouble, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The Raging Cajuns use their second timeout. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. 
Brought down around the 34-yard line. So at the end of the half, LSU leads it 27-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I'd like to put this more delicately if I could, but if this were a horse, they would put it out of its misery. This game, is, this game is ugly and, uh, and completely non-competitive. No, one of these teams is not like the other. I mean, one's really good and one's not. And I don't know how to sugarcoat it anymore. Maybe uh, maybe we could say that the second half will be better. But what you've seen so far, you're probably going to get a lot more because I don't see any advantages or anything to take advantage of. One team's just superior in talent, superior in coaching, superior really in every single facet of the ball game. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Really a lopsided ball game. Lewis has played today not what he expected from himself. He's just got to go on to the next week. Well, he's going to have to shake this off. This was not obviously one of his That's better the performances. The, the team ends scores. up losing this football game. But well, hopefully they're able to put it behind them and move on and try to get better okay. next week. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.
Thank <laughs> you.